Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and my assistant. In this lesson we are going to study some money-related topics. First, let's just multiply with money. If I have to multiply $8.95 times 5, first I might want to estimate the result so that when I get my final answer I can compare this to my estimation and check that they are close. That can help me catch errors, gross errors in the multiplication. To estimate, I would go 5 times and then round this to some close by number that I can multiply mentally then. And of course that would be $9, 5 times $9, which is $45. And now we will start multiplying. You multiply as if there was no decimal point. And then in the end, you put the decimal point in the answer. Okay? 5 times 5 is 25 and carry the 2. Then 5 times 9, 45 plus 2, 47, carry 4. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 4 is 44. And the decimal point goes here, so that we have the two digits for the cent amount. $44.75, which is close to this, so everything should be right. Now here, I will also first estimate 8 times, and this I will round up to $12.00. And so this is now 96 is my estimation. And now to multiply. 8 times 5 is 40. Carry 4. 8 times 6 now. 48 plus 4 is 52. 8 times 1 is 8. Plus 5. 13. 8 times 1 is 8 again. Plus 1 is 9. And the decimal point here. $93.20. And that is close to 96. Okay, let's solve now some word problems that involve money and multiplication. Jack bought eight resistor kits for $8.80 apiece. And now he has $16.20 left. How much did he have originally? I'm going to now draw here a bar diagram. And for the bar diagram, I will draw a, like, a, like a bar that represents the total in the problem. And in this problem, the total is what Jack had originally. All of this is what he had originally. He had a certain amount of total money. He had a certain amount of money originally, and then he buys these resistor kits, and then he has some left. So let's first divide it into two parts. He has this much left after he buys the stuff, and this is how much he spends. He spends all this money. But this, all this money is eight things. He spends his money in eight different things, so I'll divide this into eight parts. Each part here was, is going to be $8.80, which I cannot really write the numbers there, but you just have to imagine. Each one of these is $8.80, and then he has $16.20 left. And so now, how would you find out how much he had originally? You basically would have to add all these parts, right? But... To help us, since these are all the same, there's eight parts the same, we can multiply first. We can multiply to find out this much. And then we add the 16 and 20, and then we find how much he had originally. So first, to multiplying, $8.80 times 8. If I want to estimate this, I would round this to $9, and 9 times 8 is 72. So I expect my answer to be close to $72. 8 times 0, 8 times 8. 8 times 8 again is 64, plus 6 is 70. 70 dollars and 40. And now, like I said, we will need to add that. 16 and 20. And so we get 60 cents here and 6 and 8. Originally he had, I don't know if he had a piggy bank or what, but this is how much he had originally, 86 dollars 60. 